Infamous for being called the king of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of almost 6,000 kilograms of pressure, giving it arguably the strongest jaws ever seen amongst terrestrial carnivores with only extremely large crocodilians, i.e. Dinosuchus and marine predators, such as the Mosasaurus and the Megalodon, have rivaled or surpassed it in sheer bite force. Large individuals could reach lengths of 43 feet and grow to 13 feet tall, with the average still being a respectably huge 40 feet long and 12 feet tall. Its teeth are actually blunt and relied more on the bite force than the straight edge, like other pods. This was an adaptation to crush bones and bite through body armor allowing adult Tyrannosaurus to both bring down armored prey such as Ankylosaurus and Ceratopsians, as well as process a carcass efficiently by crunching bones and tougher tissues to eat. Curiously, this is not true with young Tyrannosaurus, who had a much leaner, thin build and serrated teeth. This suggests the young of the species chased down prey more actively and likely ate different animals than the adults. Of course, alone, they would never attack an adult, but instead, attack juveniles. They could attack a sick or an old individual. Tyrannosaurus was the perfect predator for armored prey even up to equal size to itself. However, their blunter teeth and narrower jaw were difficult. In the past, juvenile and adolescent specimens of the genus were mistaken for different species or genera. Nanotyrannus being a notable example as most paleontologists now believe it to be an adolescent Tyrannosaurus rex. A second possible species exists in Mongolia in the form of the almost equally huge Tarbosaurus batar, which if true would be reclassified as Tyrannosaurus batar. Paleontologists suggested a wide range of maximum running speeds for Tyrannosaurus. For a time, given the size of its legs, it was speculated that Tyrannosaurus could run 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour. Later from 2002 to 2017, applying Tyrannosaurus physiology to modern reptiles and birds and given its heavy size. They downsized its top speed between 25 to 35 miles per hour, 40 to 56 kilometers per hour. In 2019, studies officially declared Tyrannosaurus maximum speed at 11 miles per hour, 18 kilometers per hour. It has been suggested that if an adult Tyrannosaurus even tried running faster than 11 miles per hour, their bones would shatter and break. However, while the adults were slow, it is possible that the juveniles could run at greater speeds. While skin samples of Tyrannosaurus rex do show the genus having small scales, it is considered likely the species was unique amongst large theropods in that it sported primitive feathers of some sort somewhere, on the body or during its lifetime. It wasn't as heavily feathered as early members of its family such as Uteranus, so any feathers were likely along the back or when the animal was young and might need extra insulation to regulate its body temperature. For much of the 20th century, Tyrannosaurus was regarded as a primitive, murderous beast that roamed the jungle as a solitary hunter. However, this concept has since been dropped. As deep lacerations in the skulls of many specimens suggest the animal fought others of its own kind on a regular basis. A common trait of a social species defending territory and young from rivals, and likely hunted in small groups, probably family packs. By far the largest and apex predator in its time and environment. Tyrannosaurus lived in a variety of ecosystems including inland and coastal subtropical and semi-arid plains. There, it lived alongside large herbivores such as Ankylosaurus and Edmontosaurus, the latter likely being a regular for the active hunter, the hard-headed Pachycephalosaurus, as well as the famous Triceratops. They also coexisted with a sauropod about the size of an Argentinosaurus called Alamosaurus, as well as a large Dromaeosaurid called Dakotaraptor. <laughs>